Hello and welcome back. This is Frost Hair, and we are playing some more Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Um, so we're following this monitor guy. Um, mission 7 here, we're in the library. I think that this, uh, we got rid of our shotgun, which is unfortunate. Just gonna take. Oh shit! Oh. All right. So we're moving along. We got this guy over here that says he knows. How to stop something or other. <clears throat> oh, oh. I'm getting getting rack jacked here. Alright, checkpoint's done. Alright, a bunch of little dudes running around. Um, this level had the longest par time. So, I'm anticipating that this level's probably going to take us... ...somewhere in the neighborhood of an hour. Um, I'm kind of excited to go through this, so I'm going to play all of Once we're done with this game, um, obviously I'm going to focus a little more on Xenoblade Chronicles. But when I'll also start doing um, the next Gears of War. Uh, well, I'll see which, which which order they came in. I can remember if Judgment came first or Gears 2. I think probably Gears 2. Um, and I did say I was going to play the games in the order they came out. At least the original release. So if it's like a collector's edition like that came out last year, I'm not going to play that one last. Like That obviously doesn't make any sense. But... Um, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm only playing in the order it's intended to be played in, or whatever. Because, like, that also doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, it makes it, I don't know, like, the story order. Because sometimes, if you play things in story order... I think about it this way, right? Resident Evil Zero is the prequel to the whole series. And it's probably... It, but it's nowhere near intended to be played as the first game in the series. And that's because you learn about a lot of the deception and deceit in that game. So you learn about you know, who the bad guy is. In that game. And so, if you could then go to play Resident Evil 1, and you're like, wait a minute. You know, they're walking around with so-and-so. Like, that's a problem. Oh, shit. Because then you know who the bad guy is at that point. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make sense. So that's why, like, I don't want to play Judgment and then end up having like, oh, we learn out, learn like, you know, 
someone in number two is actually a bad guy, and then we see number two, but then he, like, turns traitor on you later on, or something like that. So, you know, anything like that. I don't... I don't want that to be the case. So I'm going to play them in the order they came out. That way we get all of the thrills of everything. Maybe there are some like advancements that are made later on for the second, like for judgment. That aren't there for two. And so you don't, you don't want to go into like go to judgment and be like, oh yeah, they fixed this this thing that sucked. And then you go to two and it's like, oh, well they brought the thing back. Well, it's just because you put it out of order, stupid. Okay, can you stop, stop shooting me. Let me blow that guy up real quick. No, I'll load up. Thanks, boss. Someone's still shooting me. Okay, come on. No, you're there. Um, so this this is this really is just like a complete hey, where are you? Are you over there? You're over there. Okay. So, is this guy, this guy's name is what, the architect? Is he the architect? Or is he... The librarian? This is the first of ten. Oh shit. Look, as long as I keep getting ammo for the shotgun, I think we're okay. Am I following you the right way, dude? I hope so. They do consume all. I'm aware of this. Um, I haven't lost, I think I lost one bar of my health so far, so that's... Okay, come on guys. So the this gun like sucks. Oh shit. They come from oh they're coming from all angles. Okay, so I wanna back myself into this corner right here. Thank you. There we go. Alright. Load up. You load up. You party. Oh, we get, we get dressed up, but we don't, we don't get high. Such a great and fantastic. Oh shit! Am I supposed to go down? Oh, no, I'm not supposed to go down there. That could be dangerous. Hey, yeah, get the fuck away from that thing. And fast. There we go. Ha! 
How am I not, like, how is that buckshot not just, like, going through those dudes? Kills those guys pretty good. We're just gonna move on. We're moving on. Shooting those guys seems to be the way to go. Shit. Can I get some more shotgun ammo, please? Be these guys, right? No, no, no. Oh yeah, more shield. Thanks, guys. I'll take the shield. We'll move on. Not saying we're gonna. There we go. Shotgun. M much needed. Yeah. That was unfortunate. Oh, come on. Is there someone from your... Oh, I thought maybe there was someone from behind me shooting at me, but it's just this dude. Okay. Ooh, 16 more rounds to shock. I'm glad I went backwards. Had to itch. Thanks, boss. All right, move, move on forward. There we go. Alright, let's let you guys all come up here. That's fine. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Oh nice, those guys. Those guys are very helpful, I think. Um, we want to load up. That's still such a great line. Every time I think of load up, I think of that. It really was a fantastic movie. I wouldn't say it's before it's time, but like, because obviously, but. Alright, let's do this. We're going up. We are going up. Wait, it gets worse. Fully locked and loaded. And the shotgun is really the the most important weapon for us right now. 
Um, that arrow has us pointing all oh, this way. Oh, fuck you guys. Did you just go back? Oh no, I was say, did you just go back on me? Oh shit, get the. get some health. Thanks, drone boss. Frag grenades. Of which... Thank you. Oh, you're coming. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, they all ganged up on me. That wasn't how it was supposed to be. Alright, this guy here. Some health there too if I need it later on. If things stop going my way. Jesus, come on. We got some health. Good, good. All right, picked up more rounds to shotgun. I think that cleared us go down here. I don't think we need health, but we'll just run over them just in case. Oh, that was, that was rough. So, I don't know. Sometimes when I'm playing shooting games and I have to, like, focus on what I'm doing for a minute or two, like, I have conversations in my head, and they won't necessarily be about, like, the game or anything. Um, I think that's one of the things, like, as a streamer, is difficult to think about, right? Because, like, sure, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the world right now where like it, it, it's, it's a hard place to try to draw, not necessarily draw your lines, but to try to just talk about something, right? Like, I'm not going to talk about something like I'm not going to talk about something um just to talk about something, right? But we last night on League, we were talking about how you know some of the riots and stuff that are going on, and that sort of stuff. And you know, it's unfortunate. Like I understand what they have to happen, and. Do I wish there was a Do I wish there was a better way? Yeah, I do. Um, I do wish there was a non-violent, non-riot, non-pro. Like, I mean, yes, protesting is is not non-protesting, but I wish there was a better way. I wish that we didn't have to go through this. I mean, I wish that you know, I wish everyone could just get along. Like, I think that's I don't. I know that's not realistic, but, you know, some of the things that people in this country have to go through 
any any type of minority. Like I know, spe- I know specific. This is specifically about the black African American community, but like, it's not. It it's it's not. They're not the only ones that have to deal with racism, right? You know, you have um, all minorities. I live in a. You know, I think I would I would say Hispanic and Mexican is is the majority of the population in the area that I live in, and like I, most of my friends, most of the people in my life are of that heritage, and here, you know, it's not. It isn't a problem for some of them to, you know, go about life and do things every day. But if you go to a different state or a different city even, like that, like, I'm sure that they would experience some of the same, not, maybe not the same thing, but some of the same things. And I'll never, I'll never know. I, I'll never be able to know fully what, what that's like. Um, and that just... I'm, you know, I I don't even know what I don't know how to put the words put the words out, you know, to express what that means to me. You know, I wish that. There wasn't. I wish that it didn't have. Uh, that wasn't that way. I, you know, my my daughter is at least, er, you know, early in her life. She's only a year old, but she's she's very pale. We'll put it that way. Um, and for her to be a blend of white heritage and Mexican heritage that's something that you know I'm we're gonna I'm gonna have to talk to her about we're gonna talk to her about when she gets older is like these are your cultures and everything and I wish that wasn't the case like I wish you know and, and it'll never be for her for her I don't think it'll ever reach the the lengths of what the black community has had to go through I don't know, I'm kind of just rambling so I'm not making any sense like I'm not trying to compare or anything. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I, it might sound like that. I'm sorry. I'm. Just, I'm just trying to find the words, and I don't. I don't know what they are. It sucks. Racism. Racism sucks. The fact that we have people in this country, in this world, even you know that look at someone else and say they're different they're they're different because of the way they look or they're different because of where they come from and to look at that and say because they're different that means that one of us is better than the other like that that's or because because they're not like me, I can take advantage of them. Because they're not like me, people aren't gonna care as much about them. Like there's people out there that think that way. And that's really shitty. You know, um like and I'll, I'll be honest, like, I'm kind of, I'm a person who just doesn't like people in general. And, like, that's part of the reason. 
is like because there's a lot of people in this world that are me people right I was I watched a TikTok video the other day of or today even it was today it was earlier today of a guy who said the neighbor his neighbors called the cops on him because his car is too loud in the morning and it was waking them it was waking them up when he went to work so they called the cops on him as a noise complaint and so to get back at them he went out at 7 in the morning on I mean it was posted on a weekend but I don't know if it was specifically on a weekend or whatever but it was it was on a Sunday it was when he posted the video and he went out and said and started his car and it was loud and he revved the engine and he was just generally being a dick about it and it's like I know that that's not what we're talking about here but there's just that that's that's part of the problem right it, racism is a fundamental issue with the country but how are we gonna stop racism if we can't get everyday people to act like a like a courteous person like on any type of level like that guy I'm sure someone's asked him yo don't rev your car or whatever or you know all that stuff but we have people they have people out there that are they just feel the need like oh I can do this I think it's cool I want it but like that's something that impacts everyone and so I know like I said I'm not trying to like equate that to racism but I think that's a fundamental problem with our society is just that we we don't seem to care about anyone we have people in our society that think I don't care what you think my opinion matters than anything else in the world whether you think I'm wrong whether my opinion infringes on your rights the things that I want infringe on your rights they just don't care. And I think that, I think when you think about racism, I think that's a fundamental part of what the issue is, right? Because if you have people who are just like, you know, if you, if you instill, if you have a group of people in society or everyone everyone in your society had a had the thinking of if this is going to negatively impact someone else maybe I shouldn't do it even if you think about it like even if you just consciously think for 10, 15, 30 seconds is is what I'm doing wrong is the decision that I'm about to make going to impact others negatively <laughs> if everyone in society did that I think a lot of the problems would be resolved because I think even just thinking about what kind of negative ramifications it could have for someone else can fundamentally change actions
I mean, I don't... It, this is just me talking, like... I could be way off base, I could be completely wrong with everything. You know, when this video posts on YouTube in you know two months, the the world could be a completely different place than it is now. Information can be completely different than it is now. And I think that's I mean that's a, diff a whole different path that you want to go down. But like, you know, it, <laughs> anything can change, especially with, with new stuff, right? I mean, you have people <laughs> tweeting left and right today about all this stuff, and and you can tell in some tweets, like, who who has racist undertones, right? Like, you can tell in the tweets, in the words that people choose, or better yet, don't choose, right? So, you got someone who is... Or just in the way that in the things you choose to ch tweet about, you got Clay Travis. So I like sports, and Clay Travis, the whole coronavirus has basically been like very conservative. You know, the the virus isn't isn't real. It's not bad. We don't need to close down. Why are we closed down, etc. Masks are stupid. Masks don't do anything. All this stuff. And thank you. And so. Like, like he's person, right? Where before this, like, sure, maybe, maybe you consider that he he's not a nice guy. Maybe he's just strictly Republican or whatever. But then you get into the riots and you get into the looting, and you know, you start choosing choice words like the president using the word thugs to refer to rioters um, and, and you start to see a picture I think with the way that some of these things go down And I mean, I, like I said, I I'm a person who's very much like I'm. I don't like talking to people. I don't like meeting people. I I very much kind of most of the time just prefer to sit back and watch. Watch. I'm a listener, right? For, for the most part. Unless I'm like in in, we know each other really well. Then I'm like jokes about this, jokes about that, whatever. But for the most part, I'm a listener, and I'm not a I'm not a super people person at all. There are plenty of people that like I just don't like, don't care for, don't have preference for, whatever you want to call it. But. I've never disliked someone or thought negatively of someone for something that was basically not under their control. Right? Like, or, or even necessarily for their beliefs. Like, I, dis I, can, I dislike people for some of their actions. Things that they've said, ways that they've handled, 
for handling themselves poorly during a, you know, a incident or some sort of you know, action. And, th and that's the reason why, like, that's how I can dislike people. But I would never, you know, dislike someone or treat someone differently because of their religion or their race or their sexual identity, sexual orientation. Like, for 90, like, you know, 99% of my life, like, my belief is, like, if you, whatever you believe in, you, whatever you want to vote, debt politics, whatever, like, that's, that's your, just your stuff, man. You want to have a conversation about it? Cool, we can have a conversation about it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pry, I'm not going to, you know, hey, let's be friends, how do you feel about abortions? Like, no, that's like, no, that's not something I'm going to do. And the people that do do that, they suck. Like, straight up. They suck. People that can base what they like, like, what they like, or who they like, or who they're going to treat respectfully. Based on... on beliefs or race or creed or whatever like that sucks those are the people that ruin the country <laughs> and like my brain went on a tangent while we we're talking about that um because I, I think some of it's kind of interesting right so we talk about the abortion angle there is a group of people that oh shit there's a group of people that believe abortion is murder. Straight up. And that's perfectly legal belief. Perfectly fine. That's the way you view things? Go for it. That's, that's your prerogative. And the part that, like, I, don't, I mean, I guess I don't know. I wouldn't say... I guess it's kind of hypocritical of me, but I mean, I just, it's a gray area, right? So, if I were to meet someone who, in my opinion, was a murderer, I probably wouldn't have a very high opinion of them. Oh my god, that guy just runs up out of nowhere. We gotta get rid of that guy fast. You know, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't like them very much. And so I guess if you're someone who thinks abortion is murder, and you're talking to someone who got an abortion, in your eyes, they're a murderer, I guess? So I guess I can understand why you would be upset talking to them? I don't. I don't know. That that one's a gray area. Let's not go down that road. I just I don't I don't I don't know the answer to that one. Not today at least. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> or another day. When this level is fucking long. We've been playing this level for forty minutes and I get that I've died a couple times, but Jesus. Yeah, I mean, just unless that person has physically or like actively done something to harm you or to, you know, 
even mentally mentally do something to you like take advantage of you or treat mistreat you some way then I just don't I don't know. Even in those cases, I, I don't know, man. I I'm trying to. I'm probably talking in circles. If you're watching this video, I'm sorry. I just I don't, I don't I don't know. I just don't get it, man. I don't I don't get it. No, and I don't buy the whole like we were raised this way excuse either. Because people change. People change their beliefs all the time. If you're a fundamentally good person, then change in your beliefs shouldn't be hard. And I'll give you an example right now. And you know, people can be upset with me for this or whatever, but I know that I'm a I'm a different person than I was 20 20 years ago when when I was in middle school and probably in high school you know um, it was the early 2000s and the way the people that I was around growing up uh, the, the teenagers the youth some of the adults the phrase that's gay was a common common phrase in everyday life for me for the people that I was around um, for the people I interacted with on a daily basis and you know in high school I had some friends that were in the LGBTQ community um, I had some people that were very close to my life they were part of the LGBT community and like I, w I was educated on some of their strife in college I took a um, gay and lesbian studies class and learned about you know, all the protesting they had to do to get their rights and even I mean obviously now even they still don't have any rights or anything they don't have it. they are discriminated against quite a bit and so you know ever since you know that sometimes somewhere in that high school or middle school area when you know I became educated I stopped using that phrase I stopped using that phrase and I haven't said it once since then and like it it hurts me to my core that like I had ever used it and I just wasn't I wasn't educated you know and that's not to say my parents are bad people or whatever but like the times are different uh, and you know I, I think my parents have also gone through an education process because of you know those very same people that were in my life my best friend my you know my best friend I would say my second best friend my best friend in high school was someone that I had known my entire life basically well my entire school life I've been friends ever since second grade but in high school I met um, I met a girl who became very close with me and she was part of the um, LGBTQ community and you know she didn't like we didn't go out and be like hey educate me on this stuff but just like talking to her and learning about her experience and learning about the things that went on in her life and the way that she was treated by 
you know, her family when they found out and the way that she's treated by others when they find out, you know, that that really changed things for me in terms of the way that I viewed the world. And and that at that point, that was the point where I really kind of grew up in terms of who I was as a person and just learned I learned how to be a good person you know you know I, I could tell you a bunch of stories about how how I changed and learned responsibility um, through a high school and learned about you know just all of these things but that experience really just like for me made me made me change it made me understand things different made me understand the world differently even even today like you know we it's never too late to change you can you can change today you can change tomorrow but you have to be a good person. Fourth floor, tools, guns, keys, and super weapons. Um, you just have to you have to be a good person. You have to be a good person in your heart. You have to respect others and their rights to their life. You know, the the people that I was in high school with, you know, and th this is where it, this is where we go back to that other stuff, right, where we talk about just in general, you know, being a good person, and it's these choices that they're making, the, the, and, you know, like sometimes they say, like, you know, being being gay isn't a choice. You know, sexual preference isn't a choice. It's just you're something you're born with, and that's fine. So I'm, I don't want you to think like that. I'm saying that they're choosing to be this way, but like their their sexual preference or their skin tone, their anything, anything they're doing. That is just their preference in life, or is just the way they were born. It doesn't impact me. It doesn't impact you. My friend's choice to like girls doesn't impact me at all. Didn't didn't impact me one bit. It doesn't impact you. It doesn't impact your neighbor. It doesn't impact Mr. Rogers. It doesn't impact anyone except for her. The minority community. All of them. Every single one of them. Their skin tone doesn't impact me. Their culture doesn't impact me. Their skin tone doesn't impact you. Their skin tone doesn't impact anyone. Anyone. And it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter to anyone. And it's unfortunate that it does. It really is. It sucks that it does. We shouldn't have to have this conversation. We 
shouldn't have to have this conversation. We shouldn't have to have this conversation more than one time. Yet still, here we are every four, five, ten years having the same conversation. And I don't know the answer. I know that what I can do is I can teach my daughter to have the same values. If someone says that something is offensive to them, okay, stop doing it. You don't have to understand it. They don't have to explain why. People shouldn't have to explain that why something is offensive to them. If they choose to, great. <laughs> nope. Sometimes an explanation would be nice, you know? Educate me. Why is this offensive to you? You know, but it's not mandatory. If someone says this is offensive to me, you know, you don't have to be like, "Hey, I don't understand why it's offensive, so I'm not gonna, I'm going to keep doing it until you give me a reason." Like that's not that's not the appropriate answer either. <laughs> but education is key, man. And that's why like it sucks that there's so many people in the world today who, so many teenagers who hate school or who drop out or all this stuff about everything. Like, education is the key to society. History is the key to society. And maybe that's where this all starts. Like, Things aren't going to change overnight, but something needs to happen. And maybe that's something we need to do. Maybe I didn't take my first ethics class until I was in college. And most of the people who are the biggest racists never went to college. They barely finished school. Maybe we need to start teaching ethics in elementary school, middle school, high school. Do every year I take a mandatory ethics class, ethics and compliance class, sexual harassment class for for my work every year I have compliance for you know patient data that I work with I have compliance for the company don't do this this is sexual harassment don't do this this is bullying like maybe we need to have yearly things like that for people take this class and pass stating that you're a good individual or you know some other kind of some consequence you know and, and I understand that's not like people don't like that because it's the land of the free and you're going to take my freedoms away because I don't like you know somebody like I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't have the answer. But we've got to come up with some ideas. We've got to come up with some kind of ideas. I, I talk to my wife about this a lot. You know, my wife and I get in arguments. 
And maybe this is a story I should be telling. Maybe it's not a story I should be telling. I don't know. I'm going to tell you guys. But we get in arguments. Everyone gets in arguments, right? It'd be silly to say that you lived your whole life with your wife or your husband or whatever and never got in any arguments. It's just silly. So we get in arguments and I tell her, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be better. You know, I you tell me that you want me to do something, I'm, I'm going to try to do it. I may not be the best at it. I may not get it right right away. You want me to listen better? Sure. I'll listen better. I'll do my best. You want me to do whatever? The way that I'm communicating with you about something I disagree with, you don't like it. It makes you angry. Okay, it makes you angry. What do you want me to do? And I offer solutions, you know? I offer... You know, what if we tried this? What if we tried this? Next time I upset you, why don't you tell me this? Or before you get mad at me, why don't you ask me to make sure that's what I was saying? Like that's what I meant by what I said. Maybe in the heat of our discussion or whatever, or I'm busy with something else, I'm not using the right words. Maybe I'm using words incorrectly. You know, whatever the case may be, don't, but like, you know, I know I'm not perfect. But no matter what happens, I'm going to want to keep working on it. I want to keep getting better. I want to keep getting educated. Oh shit, I'm going to die. Thousand percent, I'm about to die. Okay, can you give me some health, please, or something? And, and I think that's that's what we need for America, right? Sure, riots are getting things done. Riots create change. Protesting creates change. But all the rioting, all the protesting that's been done. Is it changing the fundamental ways of how any of this works? They've been rioting for 40 years. We had an entire war, a divisive war in our country about race, about slavery. I, I, I want to say millions, but thousands of people, tens of thousands of people probably, maybe even millions, gave their lives in the Civil War 150 years ago over this same shit. This isn't anything new. Fuck. This isn't anything new. And it shouldn't be treated like it's anything new. But something has to change, right? And... If you... If you enjoy the, you know, I forget who said it, some literary writer at one point in time said it, and it's a famous saying, but the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. I think the same thing applies here. That's not to say, I'm not to say, hey, you know what, right, if, if, if people think that rioting is the only way to create change go for it I'm not gonna stop you I will stand by you I'm not gonna say you know 
anything bad about it. If that's if that's what needs to happen, that's what needs to happen. But I also think there's other ways. I definitely think there's other ways. And I don't think we're talking about that. I don't think we're I don't think we're talking about the things that need to be talked about is we're not we're talking about the problems, we're not talking about the solutions. What are the solutions? Sure, go riot. Go 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 protest. Go peacefully protest. Go riot. Whatever you want to do that is the answer. Go do it. But also give me a solution. We should make riot riot coupons. For every solution you create, you can go riot one night. And like obviously that's not realistic. Rioting is is it's very bad for the community right a lot of places they so I mean don't get me wrong like rioting is probably necessary because it gets attention it creates it creates attention uh, this I hope this is the end of this level because I've been playing this for over an hour and I have to get ready to wake up my daughter in about five minutes but it creates attention, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, with needing to create attention. Well, I guess there's something wrong with fundamentally something wrong with that, but but <coughs> come up with solutions. Okay, you're rioting because you want change. What change do you want? You want people to stop stop being racist. Okay, how do we achieve that? You think Greg from down the street, who's super racist, is going to just change the way he the way he thinks about something, the way he thinks about being racist because you you're burning dumpsters downtown? No, he's not. He needs to be educated. He needs to have his views changed in a positive manner so think about that um, we're gonna be done with this for now but just think about that um, as your takeaway from this is just if you want change present solutions change isn't gonna happen overnight change isn't gonna happen you know with a snap of your fingers you know no one's gonna wake up tomorrow and say I'm a different person just because if the answer is education 